I see you working. Hey you guys, it's Karen Doll here. Welcome back to my channel. I'm back with another video. I assume by the title you already know what I'm about to do. I'm about to do the new YouTuber tag right here on my computer. I have the questions. It's 20 questions I'm gonna answer. So if you're interested in this video, go ahead, smash that subscribe button, thumbs up this video, and turn those post notifications on so you can be notified when your girl posts a new video. So let's get right into the video. Ooh. <laughs> You guys, please excuse my appearance. I did just wake up. It is 8.31 in the morning. Like, it's early. But I'm like, I have to get this video out. I have to get this video out. I said that I was going to do three videos a week. And I'm going to stick to it. And, well, before I start with the new YouTuber tag, I just want to say that I'm grateful for those who are, like, supporting me, like, through this YouTube journey. Like, I really do support you guys. As of now, I have 19 subscribers. Hopefully, by the end of this weekend, I could say I have 20. But, yeah, like, like, I'm about to be making some real moves. It just feels wonderful. Um, after this tag, look forward to a about me tag. Um, I mean, with these questions, you'll be able to get to know me, but, you know, we'll do another tag, like, on a deeper level. Um, yeah, I just want to say, like, I appreciate y'all. Just, just keep, just, like, we got to be patient, but it's going to happen with consistency like just comment down below what videos you guys would like to see i'm open to doing hauls tutorials whatever just let me know just let me know because how do i know what you guys want to see if you don't let me know until then i'm gonna keep putting out what i think you guys would like to see but comment down below i also uh i made a new email like so i can start like receiving emails from y'all like if you want advice because i feel like i give good advice people around me feel like i give good advice so i don't know if you want like a different perspective feel free to email me whatever just not no crazy stuff but let me stop talking okay so <laughs> so question number one is what is your name and the name of your channel my name is jakira I might put that on the screen because it can be confusing at times. And the name of my channel is Caradol. Caradol, that's like, I came up with that name on Instagram and then it just like followed me. Because like my name is Jakara, but people call me Kara. Well, you could say Kara or Kira. Mostly people call me Kira, but some people say Kara. I mean, whatever. But yeah, I started the Carol Doll thing because like I love all things beauty, so I just felt like it was only right to do Carol Doll, Carol Doll. So there we go. Um, what does the name of your channel mean? Basically, it's just my name and Doll. <laughs> um, where are you from? Oh, this is kind of like the About Me tag. Hmm. Comment down below if I sh still should do that. I think I will. But I'm from Houston, Texas. H-Town. Uh, why did you start a YouTube channel? This is a awesome question. When people ask me this, I can say it with no hesitation. Because, like, I don't want to go all over the place. But I might go all over the place because I'm known for going on tangents. But just... Just hear me out. Just hear me out. Like, I started a YouTube channel because I wanted to have, like I said in the other video, like, I wanted to have something of my own. Like, yes, I've done things and contributed to things, you know, but I want something, like, I want to be look, be able to look back and, like, wow, see how far that I've come. Like, for example, like, um, makeup. I've been doing makeup, like, for some years now. Like, not professionally, but just like self-taught stuff 
and I just see like looking at old pictures how far I've progressed like YouTube is a way for me to look at videos and like and then it's like you can learn from other other people like YouTube is an awesome platform I feel like you can use it for whatever you want to use it for like I'm not really gonna go into depth about what I want to use the platform for like what's my ultimate goal because I think one of the questions might get into it and if it does not I'll tell you guys anyway okay question number four no five what will your channel be about? My channel will be about fashion, beauty, and love. The fashion aspect, like, I'm going to do lookbooks. Like, I'm open to doing anything, but, like, I feel like I would start off with certain things and then eventually branch out. Like, uh, fashion, like, um, like, eventually, long, long down the line, you know, I'll have, like, merch, like, um, I'm into, like, hair lashes like you just like you just don't know like how far it's gonna go because i feel like fashion fashion and beauty go hand to hand yeah so and like right now in my life i'm trying to get into fashion i'm trying to change up my style because like i don't know like at some point you just get sick of the same look and like the lifestyle aspect, you guys are going to get to know me like, know me probably better than people around me. Like, probably so. Because like, when I first thought about making this channel, I thought about making this channel for years, for years. Like, I... Like, I just made, like, you know, excuses, excuses, excuses. Like, I don't have the camera, I don't have the lighting. And then I'm just like, you know what? It's now or never. Like, if I don't post videos now, I, I'm not going to do it. And I don't want to look back 20 years from now and be like, hmm, I should have did um, YouTube. YouTube is something that I really want because I literally lose sleep thinking about YouTube. Like, as crazy as it may sound, I love it. Like, I love it. <laughs> Okay, so, um, who is your target audience? Uh, my target audience is honestly probably going to be from high school on up. That's going to be like my target audience because I'm, I'm 22 and I feel like I can speak on, you know, certain things from like past experiences, like, I hope to in the future like upload stuff like about you know my high school experience um college experience because you know that's what i'm going through right now and stuff like that so hope to enlighten others uh get some feedback about how how's your uh experiences as well like you know we do this together um number seven what do you hope to achieve with your channel see Boom. Here's this question goes. Okay. What I hope to achieve. I hope to achieve. I want to achieve a bigger following. Like a bigger following. Um, as far as I feel like um, smaller YouTubers. You're not as uh, recognized. And I feel like it doesn't mean like you're less than or anything. Like sometimes we may feel like oh we're not enough. But. I literally, I've, this is going to sound weird, but I've studied some, some YouTubers, like, from what I can see, and, like, even though, like, I, I, in the past, I wasn't, like, posting consistently, like, I studied, and I'm, like, you know, that's a good strategy, that's a good strategy, like, how to promote, you have to promote yourself, pretty much, you have to promote yourself, you have to be your biggest supporter, like, even when there's, like, even when YouTube is dead, because I'm pretty sure it's, it's moments where it's like, nothing on here, you know, type stuff. You have to, like, just push through, push through, push through. I know that in the future, there's going to be days. Like, right now, I'm amped, so I could do, I'm doing videos, videos, videos. But in the future, like, you know, when I'm where I want to be, I'm still not going to, I'm still not going to quit. Because, like... I'm using this platform to get where I want to go, but I still don't want to let YouTube go. Like, I still wanted to 
follow me on like I feel like YouTube is something that you can continue to continue to build off of and like in a certain aspect like not forget where you came from like I don't want to like reach here and then I'm like done with YouTube altogether granted a lot of youtubers when they get where they want to be they do it less and that's understandable less that's that's understandable but yeah like i like i want to achieve like a greater following um i want to be exposed more exposed more um like i just want people to be able to see my work and see you know what i'm about and what what i can do um i want people to communicate with me um because at the moment, I'm going to be honest, I don't have, like, many friends and stuff. So, I feel like this would be great for me and you type stuff. Like, we can we can talk. We can create. We could just do great things. Like, this is something that I've just been wanting to do for a while. And I just have ideas galore. Like, I just have so many ideas. Like, but I want you guys to come on this journey with me. I'm sorry if I'm all over the place. It's usually how I always am, but I didn't want to write any notes down. I wanted it to just be like raw. And I want to be transparent with you guys. Like I'm not always going to get on here with makeup on and my hair all slayed. Like realistically, that's not me 24 seven. That's not, so I'm not going to put on this facade and portray myself to be a certain way when that's not me. Like I'm chilling right now. Um, eight top three favorite YouTubers. Top three favorite YouTubers. Oh my god, this is so hard because I watch YouTube on the freaking daily. Okay, um, okay, I like the real hood floor. I'll put her name on the screen. I love her videos because I just feel like they're so they're so real. Like she says what she she says she what she wants to say, and I feel like. I feel like nowadays we tend to gravita gravitate towards like the fake and the the unreal, the phony. Like I feel like I feel like she's le legit. Like she's real. Like she's real on her channel. She doesn't try to be anything that she's not. And I feel like that's why she has like supporters. Like she's just herself and that's like something that i want to do on my channel i just want to be myself 24 7 all day all day long like granted i want to grow and stuff and i'm so open to like you know growing and changing different things stuff like that but i'm not trying to be someone else basically um so i like her um oh this is hard i like her oh sharayla sharay is it Sheree or Sheree Love? Oh my, and her kids are just a beautiful family. And she's another one. She's just so like free spirited. Like just be yourself. Like it shows that being yourself goes a long way. Like I feel like the longevity is is ten times better. Like I feel like what's done in the dark comes to the light. So if you are faking it, that's gonna be temporary, you know. And third, I would say. I would say Jayla, Jayla Corey. Like I stop, like I stopped watching her, but, but I'm still for her. Like you know, like some YouTubers, you haven't watched them in a while, but I'm still for her. So yeah, it would be the real hood foreign, uh, Sheree's love, and Jayla Corey. I mean, I know I'm not supposed to say a fourth one, but I like Kelly Sweet too. So that's awesome. Okay, um, inspired you to start a channel. Hmm. Um at the time I'm not really too sure of like what YouTubers I was watching specifically, but who inspired me? I would so I would really say that um I kinda inspire like it's gonna sound weird. I kinda inspire myself in a way because like I as I watch like, you know, people I'm like, I could do that like like, you ever see someone do something and you're like, I already knew how to do that. Like, it's just going to sound weird, but you're like, I already knew how to do that. And it's just like, wow, they're posting videos about something that you know how to do. Like, I, I just love YouTube because you can do anything. You could do gaming. You could do 
arts and crafts. You could do unboxings. You could do vlogs. You could do, oh my God, the sky's the limit on YouTube. Like YouTube, it it's, it's an outlet for everyone like on my channel. And that's why I just want so many things. And like, and I just got into the mind space of like, no like no one's gonna do the work for me like this is something that i'm going to work for and i feel like hard work eventually pays off this isn't for money i just want to be exposed like i just want like not like the bad exposed i just want to be exposed like this is a great person like you know a lot of youtubers it takes time it takes years like i don't expect to be at 10,000 subscribers tomorrow like no I don't even expect to be at 50 but what I am going to say is like like by next by the middle of next year I at least want to have like 150 subscribers like tell me if I'm being ridiculous but I feel like that's a re realistic goal and I mean I feel like I can do anything at this point. Okay, so next question. If you could collab with anyone right now, who would it be? Hmm. If I would collab with anyone, um, honestly, I don't know who, but I would collab with pretty much anyone just as long as they're like real if that like real if that makes sense like i know we hear this word like being thrown around a lot but i'm just being honest like i don't want to because i hear a lot of stories on youtube but like oh i met such and such and she is not how she thinks she is she's actually oh you know what you know she's not really who she thinks she is and i'm like i feel like when someone would meet me like they watch my videos and they will meet me in real life it's like wow she like this is really how she is like I'm just not going to, I spend years sugarcoating things, so just like now, like, I don't sugarcoat anything. I'm not rude or anything, but I don't sugarcoat. Like, for what? Like, life is too short to sugarcoat. Um, so to answer your question, I would collab with anyone, anyone great or anything, anyone that wants to be great like me. There we go. Uh, 11. Three reasons anyone should subscribe subscribe to your channel. Easy. Three reasons. Okay. First reason, uh, I feel like I'm relatable. Like I'm relatable. I feel like I'm like the the staple. Um, like I'm young adult. Like I'm a young adult, and I can talk about like things that I've been through because um, I feel like when you're like a young adult, like you're like my age, like 22 years old or younger, I feel like we're not taking it seriously. And that's one of the topics that I will be talking about on my channel. So I feel like I'm relatable. Like you wanna watch someone that is like, hmm, like I've been there or I wanna go to that place or just like, I don't know. I feel like you enjoy watching the person better when, when you relate in a way. Like, and even if you can't relate with me at this point in time in my life, maybe you could relate with me five years ago or me five years in the future. Like, you get what I'm saying? Um, the second reason I would say is I'm going to be, I'm going to be real. Like, you subscribe to my channel because I'm going to be real. Like, I'm going to show you guys what... I go through like literally like what I go through like everything's not all peaches and cream granted when you see some of my videos things will be in order but I will show you like what it took to get to this point um show you guys I'll tell you guys like that's I feel like that's the point of YouTube like you're you're really and truly you're sh you're showcasing things like you're getting on here you're showing people how to do how to do a twist out like it like youtube is just amazing you can type in whatever whatever you want like how to parallel park 
I'm saying that because I actually typed that in. Like, don't come for me. Um, third reason. Hmm. So juicy, a juicy one. Okay, third reason. Um, I feel like I will be an open. I feel like I'll be, I'll be an open book, and no matter how, um, how big my following becomes, I feel like I'll always be in touch with my supporters. Cause like without you guys, I'm just little old me. Like, like without supporters, like I'm just, I'm just me, you know. But like with you guys, like I feel like I could be greater. Like, I don't know, greater. I like I don't find it weird speaking in front of the camera like I'm just pretending that I'm talking to one of you guys like I'm very easy to talk to and I'm just easy going and I want to have that on my channel like if you guys comment nine times out of ten I'm going to respond I'm going to like it and same thing with my email like I'm really good at communication it's not like I can't respond to you because I'm here and then you're here like no that's that's never been me and i've realized like i guess because i've worked so many like retail jobs like i just realized how important it is to be like you know per you know like personable you know okay so ooh, number 12 which channel already on your youtube will yours most likely be well it's gonna be the carol doll carol doll channel so uh, what is your favorite thing about the YouTube community? My favorite thing about the community is that you can do any and everything. You can um, you can see what it's like in uh, in other parts of the world without going to those parts of the world. Like YouTube is just amazing. Like places that I've never been. Like I can literally go to like YouTube and type in like Bora Bora and like see what it looks like in Bora Bora like I just don't know like recently I went on a cruise and before my cruise I already knew everything to bring what to do what it was going to be like because I watch YouTube like I binge watch P um, Carnival Cruise blog uh, vlogs like <sighs> it's amazing so I love the YouTube community I really do like it's just I really do like I love the YouTube community but let me just be all the way real at this point in time I feel like YouTube is changing like I honestly I don't know what it's changing into but I'm not gonna let that stop me from doing what I came here to do you know I'm not gonna let that stop me from putting out videos being my happy self and you know this that and the third like because I've been watching a lot of videos lately and then it's like I guess on YouTube I guess like you just you can't curse I guess I mean there's just certain things like I feel like it's getting strict as many youtubers are saying like so I don't know let me know if you feel like in the comments let me know if you feel like YouTube's changed I feel like it's changing. I don't know what it's changing into. I'm a little nervous about that, but I'm still going to do what I came here to do. Got to deliver. You know. Um, okay. I'm going to just skip down because one of these questions are like repetitive. What do you, you could bring to the YouTube community that already isn't there? Ooh, this is a good question what could I bring I feel like I could bring like my personality like it's gonna sound weird but I feel like YouTube is missing like missing my personality like I feel like oh my god I hate to say this like some youtubers are sucking the fun out of YouTube And I want to bring the fun back. Like, I want to bring the fun back. Like, I just want my uh, channel to be a place for you to come and, like, engage, like, participate. Like, I don't want to just be sitting here talking in front of a camera. Like, I want you to watch my videos and get back to me. Tell me how you feel. And I get back to you. Like, that's the, that's the amazing thing about it.
like don't just watch the video and then you know go to the next video engage like and i feel like a lot of people are afraid to engage because it's like um they have a hundred thousand subscribers they're not gonna respond to me da, 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 da. but i feel like in a sense that's kind of using your your that's kind of using your supporters for a clout right once you get once you use them to get a big following you're not going to show love back and if it wasn't for them you wouldn't be in the position that you're in like i just don't believe in don't like forgetting where you come from like that's kind of like i don't care how many messages you get daily i feel like you can take 10 minutes out your day and respond back to people but that's something that I'm going to bring back on my channel. So don't worry. Don't worry too much about that. Um, three, three you should know about me. Three things you should know about me. Um, you're going to learn a lot about me from watching my channel. But um, just three things to um, put out there is... Hmm. Three things. I guess I will go ahead and say that... Um, I still live in Texas. Um, I'm a senior year college student. I'm not graduating this year, but I am a senior. Um, and I'll do a video on that if y'all really want to know, like, why aren't you graduating? I'll let you know because stuff happens. Excuse me. You can't go through life just thinking like everything's perfect because you're going to be in for a rude awakening. A rude awakening. Um, and I guess I would say I'm a Virgo. I guess I would say my sign because I guess my sign has a lot to do with um, the way the way that I am and the way I guess um people may perceive me like in my opinion i feel like virgos are very loving people so that's it for my three things um what do you think the hardest thing will be about becoming a youtuber um i've seen a lot of videos and a lot of people say the hardest thing about being a youtuber can be like the trolls and if you don't know what the trolls is trolls are basically people that um comment on your comment on your videos comment on your posts and just say like rude things like you're not that cute you're just off the wall stuff like i just feel like you have no life if you just sit around trolling people like do you get paid for that if you get paid for that kudos to you that's a shitty job <laughs> like if you're watching this video and you've trolled before stop it it's never too late stop it because you really don't know how you're affecting the person on the other end of the stick like people go through stuff daily so and on my channel, I'm going to talk a lot about mental health because mental health is very important. So don't try to dim, some, dim someone else's light to make your shine brighter because you're going to end up miserable. Point blank. Period. So I guess that will be one of the, I guess that will be one of the hardest things. It's like, um, I guess, negative comments. Like, I don't know because I haven't really received any negative comments yet. Like, I know they're going to come because with success comes hate so i mean i expect i expect it um i honestly don't know how i'm gonna handle it yet um i hope i don't take things too harsh but if i do or if i don't i'll let you guys know like i don't know if i'm gonna block people turn off comments like like i don't know it's like one of those things you don't know what you're gonna do until you get into it because a lot of people are like i'm not gonna respond i'm just not gonna respond i'm just not gonna respond but i mean if you comment under my post 10 times saying you're fat you're going to get a response sorry not sorry because <coughs> in real life i would say something so 
don't do that. <laughs> um, okay, what do you think uh, the most rewarding thing will be? Okay, the most rewarding thing to be, oh my God, is when like companies start sending me products to review. Like I really, really, really want to review products. Like just like, and I don't want to just review makeup and hair. Like I want it to be everything. Like just send me things that are like as seen on TV. Like, oh my God. And that's another reason why I made the email that you see in the uh, description box like not only like you can send me advice comments what I can do better like send anything just you know no negativity good vibes only type stuff um but yeah I just I don't know like it's just gonna be awesome to review products like I just I love watching those videos, so I feel like I would love making them. Um, do you see yourself being on YouTube for a long time? I really do. Uh, I can't really put a number to it. I see, because I've wanted to do it for so long. Um, I was just looking the other day on uh, YouTube, and I and I saw it made I made my channel um, in 2016, and I have only like. 10 videos right now like in my opinion that's unacceptable that's unacceptable but I feel like I am my worst critic but then again it's like if you want something you have to work hard for it. nothing's gonna just like you know fall in your lap so I see me doing YouTube for a very long time even after I've reached my goal um last question last question do you have any tips or advice for others who are just starting a YouTube channel um, just starting a YouTube channel basically I would say um, come up with come up with a name that could be like um, that come up with a name that has something to do with your channel like my like the focus of my channel uh, um, I think it's like beauty so I have my name and then I have doll at the end because dolls are usually associated with like beauty so um i would do something like catchy um catchy something that people can remember um because i feel like on youtube if you want someone to uh look up your look up your channel they were like what's that channel what's that channel what's the name of that channel and it's like hard to remember like if it, if you have like a thousand and one characters like that's too hard like your name shouldn't be like x b c e a l m two one three like that is too much and no that's not a real name <laughs> that is too much like just something easy like care at all that's easy like in the midst i was like hmm it's basic but then again that's already my instagram name so it's like that works so something that's like related to your channel um I feel like thumbnails are very important. Thumbnails are very important. It's a great way to bring people to your channel in the first place. Like if I like if you see a thumbnail and it looks like kind of dry, nine times out of nine times out of ten you're not gonna click it. But if it looks like it's popping, like you're gonna click it. Like so, in doing fonts, I would suggest you do like big bold colors, incorporate like awesome pictures and stuff like that. Um, I feel like your intro and outro is very important. Um, creating your intro, I would do like you know, like something cute, something cute and simple, especially if you're beginning. Um, as a new YouTuber. Don't worry so much on equipment and lighting. I feel like it will come over time. Like, I'm not even to that point yet. But eventually, I know I'll have my ring light and stuff like that. But until then, I'm going to keep putting out great content. Um, yeah. And also, I would say, be yourself. Don't try to put yourself in a box or be like anyone else. Like, you can like those people and aspire to be, like, you know, great great like them and stuff like that but um don't lose yourself in doing so and 
yes so that's pretty much gonna be it for the video that was my new youtuber tag leave a big thumbs up smash the subscribe button and turn those post notifications on and stay tuned for my next video peace Go get it.